Good morning, everyone. So, guys, today I'm going to make you understand about the chemistry. The chemistry is the part last class. We have learned the three properties of the chemistry. That is, the three properties of the periodic properties. Jyoti bolte. I double E particularly. That is a uh, atom. Sorry, ionization potential. I made you understand. Electronegativity. I made you understand. The third one is uh, atomic size. Also, I have made you understand. The second part called the E. The next E called electronegativity. Today we are going to learn about it. So I am going to provide the rest three parts: electronegativity, non-metallic character, and metallic characters. So let us learn more about it, and let me show you its figures. Starting with the electronegativity. What do you mean by electronegativity? The tendency of an atom of a molecule to attract a said pair of electron towards itself is known as electronegativity. So at first the Linus Pauling had given the electronegativity double and he has concluded the certain things and the factors affecting the electronegativity. Let me show you first the Linus Pauling table and then you will understand how the electronegativity This table which is shown in the above electronegativity values are given so are called the Linus Pauling table. Kerosene uh, group number 1 group 1 is showing hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium that is a uh, down the group decreases and why it is decreasing so its factors will give us idea but please observe hydrogen is having electronegativity of 2.1 but when you go to the bottom part of this group cesium is having 0.7 But when you move from left to right, lithium is one point zero, beryllium is one point five, boron is two point zero, carbon is two point five of electronegativity, nitrogen three point zero, oxygen three point five, and fluorine is having four as a electronegativity value. Comparison to all the elements from one, two, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen groups, fluorine is having the highest electronegativity. That means, <coughs> particularly the halogen elements are having Highest electronegativity value in that fluorine is having the most. That means when you move from bottom to top of the uh, group, then electronegativity increases. Or from top to bottom, electronegativity differential or electronegativity value decreases. Why? Let's learn its a reason. The reason is here. Can you see the atomic size? The two factors are there. One is atomic size. Greater the size of an of the atom, the lesser is the electronegativity difference or electronegativity because the electrons being further away from the nucleus. जहाँ हम लोग greater the size मतलब ये कॉल number of cells as we uh, move from top to bottom number of cells increases. Atom size goes on increasing. They are able to lose the electron because the Nuclear pool goes on decreasing. Nuclear pool decreases, so they are about to lose rather by gaining the electron. That's why we say electronegativity goes on decreasing. Nuclear charge when you move from left to right, the nuclear charge goes on increasing. As the nuclear charge increases, the nuclear pool also increases, and so uh, the force of attraction between the electron as well as the Protons goes on increasing, and they are having more tendency to accept the electron and to form electronegativity character. This is called the nuclear charge increases, and the electronegativity also increases. Down the group, same as that of the atomic size, nuclear charge is also almost equal to the along the period. Note, fluorine is the highest electronegative element, and cesium is the lowest electronegative element. Next factor is metallic character. Those elements which has the have tendency to lose electrons are known as the metals because they are forming metallic ion or positive ions. Like sodium loses one electron becomes sodium plus. Factors are there. Atomic size as the atomic size increases, the metallic character also increases. Guys, how as you are moving from top to bottom, the size goes on increasing. Or uh, the number of cells increases. Hence, they are about to lose the electron very easily. That's why its metallic character goes on increasing. As you move from left to right, the nuclear charge goes on increasing. As nuclear charge increases, then the nuclear pool also increases. Number of cells in the period remains same, but the size goes on reducing. The size reduces. They are more. Uh, stronger the electrolytic force of attraction between the electrons and protons are more stronger than that of 
the other elements. So metallic character decreases here. Factors of filling them down the group same as that of the atomic size along the period same that of the nuclear charge and same with the most metallic element. I will show you the table of the both metallic as well as non-metallic together. So let me first make you on the non-metallic character which is just opposite that of the chemical sorry metallic character. Metallic character may the elements were the able to lose electron here which are having the tendency to gain the electron in order to attain the octet in their outermost orbit are considered as non-metals say so chlorine which is uh, gaining one electron becomes chlorine ion Cl1 minus so it's 287 in the electronic configuration after gaining one of the electron becomes 288 electrons factor the same atomic size and non-metallic character atomic size and nuclear charge this is what you know that non-metallic character is also in the part of I double E N in our image of the non-metallic character down the group decreases and along the period it goes on increasing so let me make you understand that when atomic size is increasing when we move from atomic size greater the size of the atom that means when you move from top to bottom the number of cells goes on increasing as the nuclear pool decreases Hands are most they are going to be metallic rather by non-metallic so that's why non-metallic character goes in decreasing they are metallic aap log bol sakte ho but non-metallic character yaan pe kam ho jayega decrease hote ho to jata hai because waan pe jo pakad hai jo nuclear force hai wo kam hote ho to jata hai so that's why they will not able to gain electrons force weak ho ne ki bajas se this is nuclear charge barte bar jata hai that's why nuclear pool increases the hands and atom can gain electron to form negatively charged ion so it's tendency down the group, trends down the group, same as that of the atomic size and nuclear charge is almost same with the along the period part. That's the last trends. So you can see the table just bottom part, you can see here sodium, here metallic character and non-metallic character, this is the metallic, hey, here but when we go left side, right side, metal, 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 they are loose, ready to lose the electron because one, two, and three are the valence electrons that are ready to lose. But when we come to silicon, we start the metal arts. Because non-metal, 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 they are about to gain the electron. That means when you move from the left to right, so they are moving from metallic towards non-metallic. That means non-metallic character increases along the period and metallic character decreases along the period. We can say that here. So these are the six phenomenons which one we have completed then after that some other phenomenons on other physical conditions like melting boiling point density is also there you can see uh, like uh, metals like lithium sodium and potassium jab hum niche niche jate hain to unka melting point dheere dheere se kam hote hote jata hai and boiling point bhi simultaneously kam hote hote jayega kyunki yahan pe force of attraction kam ho jata hai dheere dheere se hum jab niche niche ki taraf jate hain so it's very easy to Okay, uh, change the state. The melting and boiling point of the metals decreases on going down the group because of the less force of attraction between the molecules. Melting and boiling point of non metals goes on increasing. Jo hora thamar metal me yaha pe ulta ho raha hai kyunki fluorine fluorine dikhi aap. Uska melting point minus two hundred nineteen. Chlorine ka minus one zero one. Bromine ka minus seven point two. And iodine ka jab aate one one three. Kyunki ye state bhi yaha badalta hai ki upar ki taraf dikhe gas gas liquid and solid. So obviously so it will take more amount of uh, temperature for changing its state than that of the gas. That's why it changes. Now I'm say across the period left to right melting point and boiling point usually increase out to the group 14 tak hota hai for the metal and opposite it happens for the non-metal. Density the key of Elements across the period decrease gradually to maximum, then slight decrease may be noticed. जब वो period में घूमते हैं, उनका density भी क्या होता है? धीरे-धीरे से भी वो बढ़ते-बढ़ते जाता density. Density means okay, one gram और mass by volume तो आप लोग जानते हो, gram per centimeter, cubic centimeter, sodium का one gram per cubic centimeter, magnesium का one point seven, aluminium two point seven, धीरे-धीरे से बढ़ता है, तो थोड़ा decrease हुआ जैसे कि one point eight आया first verse में. And sulfur में 2.1 और मेटल की तरफ। दस एन एग्जांपल। सिमिलरली यू कैन सी विद द सेशियम तक ये रहा लिथियम, सोडियम, पोटेशियम, रुबिडियम सेशियम दिस डाउन द ग्रुप। लास्ट टेबल इस पर द डाउन द ग्रुप। क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे डेंसिटी बढ़ते बढ़ते जा जा रहा है। ओके, सो डेंसिटी डिक्रीजेस इंक्रीजेस अल्ल 
increases down the group as well as increases along the period slight uh, and then slightly decreases in between then increases again along the period but down the group goes on increasing and increasing density because size also increases that's why some more concepts those are the important part like diagonal relationship particularly some second element few elements of the second period so some uh, resemblance in the properties to that of the elements in the next group that is called third group so they are called as a diagonal relationship this elements are known as bridge elements example lithium exhibits a diagonal relationship with magnesium beryllium with aluminum and boron with silicon these are the some examples children please call this chapter is completed complete it next examination will be your chemistry learn and it out you can ask me thank you